Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly, and today we're doing another app review. This one is for Confluence. For those of you who don't know, Confluence is a wiki documentation tool very well integrated with Jira. There's one thing that I don't particularly like about Confluence is how hard it is to navigate. You can nest pages and then it's really hard to find where things are. And I will show you the app that solved this problem quite neatly. And uh, before we go, I want to thank today's sponsor. It is a page tree process map for Confluence that we're going to review today. So let's do it. First of all, of course, uh, we need to go to apps. We need to go to find new apps. Here we type page tree process map. Here we go. Here we are. We can see a bunch of examples. You can create a process map from the beginning to start. We can also create like a menu or the just visual map of the pages that is pretty hard to do in Confluence by itself. But this is very versatile, allows you to change colors and customize it to the way you like. It is available for data center, server and cloud. They have a little bit more features right now for data center and server, but they are rolling them to the cloud as well. Before we go and see how it works, I wanna show you the pricing as always, up to 10 users, completely free. So if you're a small team, you can use for free. If you have a big team, let's say you have 100 users. So it's 25 cents per user, which is very affordable. And this app solves the big pain that Confluence has. Okay, we checked out prices. Now let's go and see this app in action. So here we are. This is a page Agile Practices. And uh, this is my main page of my space. And I have team and I have Agile Framework Overview and Agile Frameworks. I have a bunch of things. It nested. There are a lot of things in here. So on my main page, I would like to see three levels deep of everything I have so I can easily navigate and then have to click on those arrows all the time. How do I do that? I click on edit. I click on insert, type process map. And it says I need to allow access. So before I continue, um, I will click publish in here. Here we go. It asks me to allow access. I just click on allow access. Here it says authorize. Sometimes I notice Confluence has a bug that says you need some identity user or something like that. Just log out and log in and you'll be fine. Just quick hack from myself. I ran into it a couple times. Then just click accept. Here we go. So we need to edit it before we can see it. So it says object object. Just click on edit. We dropped in macro. It says object object. We need to edit it. Here you can select the root page structure. You can select label to start. Let's say, let's say I have a process. It goes from start to the goal. So you can create pages and it will show you the process map this way as well. You can select a theme. You can do default or you can do custom. Let's look at the custom for a second. This is our custom theme. It's pink. I love it like that. I love it. Let's click publish. So here we go. And if we add any other pages, let's go and add something. Let's go to recruiters and add another one. Let's put m and click publish. Now let's go back to my space. Here we are. See, we have m and was added automatically. So I just put it in one place. I don't have to worry about it. If we add more pages, it just automatically updates and I can go and see very nice view how it all looks. But you can do it not only on the top view, you can go and put it anywhere you want. So let's say we have on scale and we have safe framework. So let's click on this page. Let's click edit. Let's drop in the process map. Click edit again. We can have a default theme. We can have a custom theme. And you can change colors for everything you want here. Labels, titles, phones, borders. 
anything you want or if you want to have a really basic one you can just select the default and we'll show you this default one i like the default one let's keep it like this and then i just click publish so here we are with just one drop it knows that we're in safe it found out all the nesting pages and created this beautiful process map so we can go and see at a glance safe framework which is pretty complicated i know i don't have everything but i have the main things and you could easily see all of them in one place you can go and find out more about each of them just by clicking on a page so very good tool for visualization i wish confluence would offer that by default but they are not so this cool add-on allows you to do that in no time you just drag drop it change colors make it look like you want to and here you are that's it guys i hope it was useful please put your thoughts and your questions in the comments down below i'll put a link to this app in the description and on top please check it out and i want to thank again our sponsor page tree process map for confluence for sponsoring this video i think it's a very useful app that i wish confluence did on their own but we don't and i think this app does a great job thank you for watching talk to the next one bye bye